The welcome at Kathmandu, Geoffrey Shirley reporting now, was led, of course, by the King and Queen of Nepal. It's not so long since they paid a state visit to Britain. Now, attended by generals and other Nepali leaders, they awaited their royal guests coming to pay a return visit. Certainly a colourful reception and the warmest of greetings from King Mahendra for the Queen and her husband. drive through the capital, a magnificent carriage and escort. Though in many ways it followed the western pattern, this surely was something only to be seen in the capital of the Himalayan Kingdom of Nepal. One feature of the four-day visit was the tiger shoot, in which over 300 elephants played their important part. The Queen first rode on this mount on her way to the scene of action, which she planned to shoot with a camera. Presently, she transferred to another elephant, sitting in a special howdah. Lord Hume and Rear Admiral Bonham Carter were out for the kill, and it was the Admiral who made it, I believe. Prince Philip would have had first shot, but for his bad finger. Kathmandu is a most fascinating place, a city of ancient Buddhist and Hindu temples and other places of great historical interest. To drive round Kathmandu is to see a kaleidoscope of colour and an extraordinary blend of two great Eastern religions. Majesty must have been enthralled by her tour of the city. The Queen's last engagement was a review of 1,300 men of the Nepalese army. The parade was held as a supreme compliment to Her Majesty. The final scene was at the airport where the royal farewells were exchanged. In Nepal, as in every country visited, the Queen's tour had been an outstandingly brilliant success.